Hey, it's Noel coming to you with another video here. I want to talk about rent growth. CoreLogic just came out with a report talking about rent growth and how it started to level off across 20 cities. It was really interesting. Post some of the information here. I'll post a link to the post from CoreLogic down below. I'll show a couple of graphics coming up. But uh, rent growth is leveled off. Phoenix is still, still leading. And again, as I talked about previously, the cities that are in more of the perfect storm of a resort or more of a vacation area with urban with a lot of leisure and hospitality employees rent growth has uh, declined even in Miami rent growth has gone down so question I have is what constitutes negative rent growth so um, the fact is is this is from 20 cities around the country this isn't taking all of the rent growth around the country correct me if I'm wrong on this so what we have to figure out is what does this really mean so when you're looking at the lower tier and the mid lower tier our rent growth decline was less it's kind of like uh, when people talk about appreciation, appreciation's gone from 8% to 6% or 8% to 4%, people might say it's a decline of 50%. Yes, but it's still pretty strong rent growth. If you've got inflation and you've got rent growth, which we'll see what happens with the inflation with the Fed, but usually the appreciation, the rent appreciation is going to take up a little bit above the appreciation. So it's interesting numbers to look at. So take a look at those numbers. Tell me what you think goes on the subject of what the risks are in SFR investing. I've had a couple people push back at me saying that everybody talks about single family rental investing as you can't miss as long as you buy right. Well, yeah, of course. If you buy any real estate asset right, of course you're going to have less risk. But there are a lot of factors that you need to have in place in order to have a good single family rental investment buy. And it's not just location. But location's one of them. The type of the asset, how well you rehab that asset, the condition of the asset, the deferred maintenance, what's happening in the local economy. Rent growth is important or are you more focused on yield? Are you looking at the appreciation of the market? Are you picking a market that's a higher yield with a lower appreciation or a higher appreciation with a lower yield? Are you blending those markets together? Those are a lot of different aspects you have to look at. So I'm not ever gonna go out here and say that single family rental assets or single family rental investing is a can't miss. It is an absolute miss if you don't do it right. And there's a lot of people who don't do it right. So just wanted to throw that out there. Tell me, what do you think? What's more risky? What are the better asset classes to be investing in? I think single family rentals are great. I think self storage are great. I think industrial is great. Anything that has to do with fulfillment centers and things like that. What I like to look at, a metrics I like to look at is sell tax revenue. It's way down in hotels, way down in retail, way down in in-person brick and mortar retail, way down in, in restaurants, things like that. But alcohol, online, sporting goods, things like those are, are doing great. So you have to look at all those different numbers and that's what makes it interesting on the investing side. But what's a better asset class to invest in? What's the riskiest asset class? Like I said, I really like single family rentals. I really like self storage. I really like industrial. Multifamily, if you buy right, can be good. If you're in that lower tier of multifamily, I think there's a lot of uh, risk there. If you're in the lower tier of single family, there's a lot of risk, meaning the lower rental tier, thousand dollars or less in rent. If you're in an urban area, in an area that it's a lot of leisure and hospitality, but then again, where I live, it's all leisure and hospitality and it is, it's blowing up because everybody wants to get away. So if you're in an urban area with leisure and hospitality, I think it's a little tougher. Anyways, just throwing some stuff out there. Make a comment, love to hear from you. And uh, let me know what you think. What's the riskiest asset and less riskiest real estate asset classes to be investing in today? Thank you.